Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Nikon Creators Hour. My name is Mike Corrado, and I'm with Nikon for 35 years, and I've been shooting for over 40 years, and we are bringing you this Creators Hour content with interviews with some very, very special guests and photographers, some epic and legendary photographers. And with us today, we have John H. White, Pulitzer Prize winner from Chicago. Welcome to the Creators Hour, John. Thank you, my friend. It's good to be sharing a conversation with you. Well, thank you for doing this. Uh, I know you're a busy man, uh, and um, we just wanted to reach out to you to put together a collection of images of, you know, I guess, that are very epic and famous to you, make you happy, or tell a story about your career. Um, so thank you for giving us this time. Of course, I want to know how you're doing during COVID-19, during this pandemic. How's your family? How's everybody in Chicago? Uh Thank God right now, so folks are fine. We're, we're doing fine. We're, we're uh, uh, looking at the light, not cursing the darkness. Uh, we are, are know that this too shall pass, hopefully soon, uh, but trying to be positive and trying to do the right things during this time. And, mm -hmm. and, uh, and I'm, I'm, I'm thankful for it all as well, but I, my concern uh, for so, so others, you know, this, for others, so many others I mean, around the world, and it makes me wish I could do, do a lot for others. I, I think you do, and um, you certainly do that for me. You and I have known each other for decades now um, through Nikon. Um, uh, thank God that I had that opportunity, and the people I've met along the way, uh, I mean, are highlighted by so many, but you, know, you and I have a very special friendship, so uh, this is even more personal to me to be able to have a really great conversation with you about the body of work you've done I've seen you present so many times, but it's different when you're having a conversation with somebody about the work they've done. And so, you know, to put together some of your favorites is, is going to be a great thing for everybody to hear. Uh, before we get into the pictures, though, talk a little bit about how you got into photography. You know, how did you end up becoming a photographer for your career? Well, but first, I need, I need to say, uh, you know, I, it's so wonderful having this conversation with you. My, I, my, I have to, I just call you what I call you, my little brother, <laughs> Nikon Mike, my little brother. Um, and so I'm, I'm, I'm thankful for the opportunity to share. Um, uh, and I appreciate all you've done. One of the things, uh, I, and I could have different names for you, but one is, uh, you know, of course, little brothers can always be there, but you've been a, a compass for me, uh, like a, a compass, you know, compass, you know, uh, and, and so much because I, you've, you've kept me to stay up to date with, Technology and, and things and and uh, and so uh, I'm, I'm grateful for that. But I'm I'm grateful for the friendship, the gift of friendship, and I I cherish it's a, it's a treasure, and we learn to treasure the treasures in life. It goes goes both ways, John. Um, photography. Did it start early on for you? Did you always want to be an artist? What? Where did everything begin? I I want to be an artist because I could always draw. Um, and people would tell me I was gonna be an art artist. But then I discovered the art of photography, or let me say it discovered me, because my father's a minister and we would go churches and places and they, everybody would take pictures of the preacher family and things of this nature. And then my, my, my family, my mother was the first archivist I've ever known, save photographs and things, and to see, to see history. Uh, mm -hmm. But I remember something that happened when we, we, there were six, now six children, and um, we, were, we were poor, poor economically, but rich in love. And, and we would get two gifts at Christmas. One would be, one was uh, uh, two gifts, one for, 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 uh, one for the family, and then everybody got their own gifts. One Christmas, I got a little tractor, a little rubber tractor. I saved that, I played with it. And then the whole family got a Viewmaster, and we would take turns. And I remember uh, taking turns. We had two slides in the Viewmaster. So one was a slide of Mickey Mouse. And, you know, go on the Mickey Mouse. And then I looked at the next slide and they put it in there. And it's a picture of biblical story, a picture of Jesus. And I was like, oh, wow. But it was like two dimensional. And so it was like open a new wonder in my mind, a new folder of visuals and seeing and dimensions and things of that nature. So that was there, something that opened a folder. Uh, but I, but that kind of connection, and then, then see history, to see history, to see history, and have family and folks talk about history. And I wanted to 
see see the story of, 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 of people, to see the story of life. And 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 that's what I try to do is show the story. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You um you talk about humanity and telling that story. You have a deep connection with the subjects that you want to shoot. And we, we talk about this all the time, but it's a little bit of everything, the details and everything and everybody that you love in, in your storytelling, huh? I learned early in life. My, 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 my parents taught me early in life um, that my father, my father said, make a friend a day. My mother never met a scratcher. We learned early that everybody you see is somebody. Every individual you see has, has a mother, has a heartbeat. And with photography, with, the, with this, 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 this camera, I can, I can, I can recognize their somebodiness and share their story and share their song. And give light to their, 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 their being. And I think that's very important. And so around the world, everywhere, everywhere, everywhere in the world, everybody understands the language of photography. I can communicate with every single person on earth. Mm -hmm. And so it's, it's a joy, it's a pleasure, and it's a tremendous responsibility. And also, uh, it's, it's a record of history. A hundred years from now, I won't be here, but a hundred years from now, these moments of, of today, the moments of Corona, the moments of, 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 of things will be, and they will be as fresh and accurate because photography is the mirror that uh, preserves and shows it forever. And so to be, one of the, what, there, there's so many joys I have in life, so many. Um, I remember in six, 1969, uh, I was waiting for a bus in Charlotte, North Carolina, and, and my pitch had been in the paper for winning an award. You know, you know, a black man wins the a photographer wins the award. That was like big news, you know. So uh, Tra traffic's going, and this, this, this person stopped right in traffic, just right in the middle of traffic. Cars blowing the horns, and there was this old, I love calling people old, because I love the great bit old. Mm -hmm. This old father just looked at me, and he was so proud. He said, that's your son, that's your son. You're the, I know it's you, I saw your picture. You're the picture taking man, you're the picture taking take, take man. And, and I, I, don't think, I don't know if I ever said anything to him. I was just like smiling, cars, but he was so proud. But he told me, he said, you're going to always be the picture taking man. Mm. And so people say, well, pull a surprise, all that kind of thing, which, you know, it's cool. But I want to be that picture taking, that servant, that one who serves and tells the story of humanity, share the story of humanity, capture it and share from, 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 from a child to a senior, to nature, to a raindrop, to a rainbow, to a giraffe, to a butterfly to share, to capture and share God's uh, creation, to splendor, both human and environmental. And I think that's my, uh, my assignment. That is it's so beautifully said. Um, you mentioned home, so I'm gonna start sharing our pictures here. And uh, talk a little bit more about uh, where you grew up and, and how you were inspired and, uh, and, and your early childhood. Well, first, I haven't grown up yet. <laughs> I'm with you there. <laughs> when I when I grew up, I think I might I learned all the technology. And, but this is this this is what we call homestead. This is my uh, this is our home in Lexington, North Carolina. This is my grandmother on the porch. Mm -hmm. uh, this was this is a uni the the family university really because we learned so I learned so much about life. We 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 would learn from the adults and the folks and would teach us and talk to us and, and give us uh, isms for living, uh, their wisdom and their echoes that, that continues to nourish me now, nourish me now. And then we, I remember having to wait uh, uh, in the morning for get light enough to go out and work in the fields and things and the cows. And, and so uh, uh, I, 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 it, just, it just nutrition for my journey. This, 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 this is where I got my roots and my wings. Uh, and this is what helps me to fly today. And this is where you first picked up a camera, your very first camera? 
And my first camera uh, was in Lex. This was in Lexington. My first cameras cameras when I lived in Kannapolis, North Carolina, which mm -hmm. is like uh, half an hour from here. I was born actually about a few miles from this place, this house, mm -hmm. in a house that fell down in 1982, just collapsed. But you uh, have a. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Continue. But I I I. I I look back at the syllabus of my life mm -hmm. and the GPS of my life. And I think it's, it's I'm so thankful. I mean, I think I, I'm thankful uh, for all the pieces of the puzzle of my family. And especially today, because today is my, is my, my mother's birthday, you know, uh, and my, my father, my mother taught us so much. They, they wanted us to connect with people and, uh, and, and know that people are important. That's the most important. And so I'm, I'm thankful for that. Well, happy birthday to mom. And um, it is a special day. And again, I look back at this as my special day too, just to be able to talk to you like this and, and to have that kind of technology. Um, you have a great story about the very first camera you ever purchased on your own. And uh, talk about that a little bit. Well, you know, I, 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 uh, Bought, purchased my first camera, my very first camera, for fifty cents and ten bazooka bubblegum wrappers. It was a, mm -hmm. I used it was it was called the Cardinal camera, bazooka Joe camera, mm -hmm. and uh, that camera was uh, really was very very it was very special to me. But uh, our church burned down, and and that was the camera first camera I used when my father gave me an assignment to he didn't use the word document, but to to photograph the runs of the church and the rebuilding and things of that nature. So that the little, the little Bazooka Joe camera was the so, first thing that I actually own. I actually purchased myself. So anybody out there that doesn't know uh, who Bazooka Joe was, um, this was a comic, right, that you used to get in a gum, uh, wrapped in gum. And there's that ad um, that talks about this camera that you bought. Uh, and um, my favorite looking at these growing up was the fortune in the bottom left corner because I always believed I'd come true that I would become an Olympic swimmer, um, you know, especially as a kid. But you still have this camera to date, no? Yes, yes, yes. I, it's, it's a tr it's, it's, I, this, I don't know if you can, can see it, but yep. it's, 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 my, it's my baby. I, I take it out every now and then and look at it, and, uh, but it's, it, it is a it was just, it's just a treasure. And that's, that's the thing. Treasure comes in different forms, different ways. And we have to treasure the treasures. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and, and so I, I'm, I'm thankful. But life has, life has a, a beautiful way of, a, okay, let me rephrase that. The, the GPS of life, how, how, it, uh, uh, how, how things happen in our lives uh, to put us in the flight path to for our earthly journey and the journey of service to others mm -hmm. and so the camera i wanted to be an artist i wanted to be i could draw i thought i could draw everything i could see and i could and uh but it became simpler for me to to do this than to keep painting because i do this and i have the moment right at the moment mm -hmm. and so uh I'm, I'm excited about life beautiful um, let's start with the pictures you submitted. Um, I'd love to hear the stories behind these. I'm sure everybody tuning in would love to hear the stories behind these photos. So let's take off with this picture right here. Well, well, this, this is in it because it represents humanity. I mean, the, you know, the, the, the people. This is in Oaxaca, Mexico. Uh, uh, I was traveling with the Pope, Pope John Paul II, whose first trip is Pope, very first trip at Pope to many places in, in, uh, in Mexico, Oaxaca. But this represents humanity, you know. And this is why, why it's just, everybody's important. And people, people there's a connectiveness. And, and the eyes, I feel, represent their, they just said the eyes are a mirror of the soul. But people are the same everywhere. There's, there's a, 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 a oneness that binds humanity, not sameness, you know, but a oneness. And, and that's because everybody needs love, fellowship, water, air. Uh, and so I, try, I want to capture and share. And, and every time I point my camera, every time I take a picture of someone, mm -hmm. uh, I want to give them that somebodyness, know that they're, 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 they're important. And at that moment, there's no one more important in the world than they are to me. 
-hmm. And so the, everyone has a story, and it's, it's my honor to share that story, to sing their song. It's a, it's a beautiful portrait. Um, was this early on in your career when you went down to Mexico? Was this part of newspaper work you were doing at the time? No, this, this well, well, my, it was uh, early in the career. It was, it was, this was taken uh, in um, 1979 as Pope John Paul II, first trip as Pope. Uh, mm -hmm. This is, uh, it was a seven day tri trip. Uh, he's in Mex uh, Mexico City, Oaxaca, blah, blah. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, but this was in Guadalajara. No, this was in Oaxaca. Um, mm -hmm. And so traveling and seeing the people, seeing the people, meeting people, meeting people. And, and it, it's, it's a, it continues to be a joy. It's a forever joy. Mm -hmm. I, because I think, I think, Go ahead. I think uh, one of the things about the camera is it, this, it's like a, this, this, this baby is, is a, a passport to the world. It's uh, a conduit for uh, connecting with heart, souls, and cultures, and uh, mm -hmm. bringing people together, bringing things together, uh, bringing ideas together. Uh, and a child uh, uh, understands a smile, a child understands a, 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 a love. And so I think the camera is this tool that helps, I would like to think that helps enlighten the world brighten the world mm -hmm. and nourish this thing called love. Uh, uh, it gives it, it gives it uh, nutrition, you know, and, mm -hmm. and, and, and not only for now, but for generations that are not yet. Mm -hmm. uh, and for some, it's, going to, it's the only connection, it'll be the only connection to the time, the history of their family system, you know, uh, uh, I ask, often ask my students, uh, what's the first memory you have? Visual memory you have. Visual memory you have. And it's amazing how it, uh, that, that, that unlocks that um, uh, archive, intellectual, uh, inter intellectual archive that we have. And so photography is this special, special um, thing that helps me with my affair with life and light and love. It's funny when you just said that, like I immediately thought back to a time when I was sitting in my grandparents' car in the middle, no seat belts at the time, but I couldn't see over the dash. That just that image just popped into my head as we were driving into Flushing, Queens um, at the time. It's, I've never heard that question asked before. That's that's a pretty interesting question. I think I think it's a very important question too. And I think, you know I, I just think okay, okay, all right. Mike, wanna Okay, one must look for good in everything. Okay, or or the good in things. Okay, something's not good, but there, you look for the good in search. Uh, we're going through this Corona pandemic right now, mm -hmm. and to me, you, you're if you're in a game. You're you're in a game, uh, football game, let's say, and you're you're doing great things like that. And two minutes left in the game, there's you're gonna hear a whistle and it's timeout. That's official timeout. That's a, okay. You could be. Your know, next play would have been a, a Hail Mary, a touchdown, whatever. I think nature saying, hey, look, this is mute time. This is time out. Pause. Hey, you know, what's, what's important? What, what, what is life about? And so we learn from this, these times the thing called uh, uh, the silency of silence. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the, uh, when, 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 when darkness and quietness uh, pause, right. when we, we see who we are, where we are, what we're doing, and, and what's, what's beyond our physical being, you know, you know for the future. Uh, I call it my hours. It's a time to uh, uh, reboot, restore, regenerate, replenish. renew, recharge, uh, refuel, refuel, refuel. And so we, we should, we should not curse darkness, but look for the glimmer of the light. And also, um, 
there's there's a treasure in silence. Um, uh, uh, I mean, where we, we can just even hear our own thoughts and our heartbeats, uh, the wind. I practice, you know, I'm, I'm a photographer, so you know, I, I love photography, but I practice, I practice seeing. You know, yeah. I'm gonna sit and look here and not move anything but my eyes. If there's a shadow, a leaf, or here, a wind, or whatever, things like that, you see. I practice that. Yeah. And it helps me when I'm, you know. Uh, but, 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 but the earth now is a mute creation, mute, in my opinion. Mute. Mm -hmm. Pause. You know, you know people, people, there <laughs> one story that uh, people didn't know that the people that next lived to them, next door to them, were, were relatives. <laughs> Mm. You, know, you know, and so we, it, it's, 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 it's what's important in humanity, you know, everybody and, and nature is nature is right on time. Nature is the blooming and grass are flush or uh, greenish and things. So I think I think uh, I think the uh, there's a connectiveness that we are experiencing that's rich. I mean, that's just my little Mind. Beautifully said. It's beautifully said. Um, talking of community, this picture that we have up now at the water, what's happening here? What's this picture about? This is a baptism on Chicago's lakefront. And, and, and uh, you know, worship in different forms and baptism, different forms and things like this. And this is a, a, a baptism right at the lakefront of Chicago. There, there, there are several services. But this, this image was also a part of the... Uh, Pull a surprise package, mm. uh, uh, and so I, 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 I'm, I, I treasure, you know, the work that is, you know, like, there. For instance, okay, if my, if you, if you had a, a puzzle, and there were a lot of pieces, and you open that box, and you took this piece out, and say, oh, look at that piece, look at that shape, look at that color. Put it back. Look at this one. These are three, you know. And then you just took one out and closed the box. Uh, that one piece, the puzzle incomplete. And that's the thing about like this story or humanity. Everyone has a story. Every person is a story. And the absence of that one piece makes it incomplete. And so I think when we look at humanity, uh, uh, what people are doing and how they're doing and and honor and respect and what they're doing, you know. I'm I, I, I never I, I'm never okay. My father's a minister. I've never in my lifetime heard him curse, not one time, not one time. But I think if he would, ever would have, it'd have been one time we were in Schenectady, New York, and there was this man who's in a in a mall, and he said, "Johnny, you're going to be the journalist. You should talk to him." So I went over to talk to talk to the man. And this man was saying, the world's coming to an end tomorrow. It's coming to an end tomorrow. The world's going to come to an end. You know, and I was challenging this man, to, you know, the world's not coming. And when I, when I went back and I thought, you know, you know, my father said to me, Johnny, who gives you the right to disrespect what he believes? He said, I don't think the world's coming to an end tomorrow. You don't. He does. That's his right. And so I think that the respect for him, and uh, uh, humanity. I learned that then that you, you you gain more from conversation than confrontation. Mm -hmm. Communication, conversation, and that's another thing. You know, you know, been all over the world, you know, most of the world, and I've seen uh, joy, war, and things, and I see the absence of this thing called communication. Mm -hmm. The absence of the thing. It's one of the. Uh, um, Important ingredients in this, uh, 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 the mixture of love, you see to me. And so I think that uh, to sing, to be able to sing someone's song as a photographer, because if we don't do that, if the photographer doesn't do it, the journalist doesn't do it, who's going to do it? Mm -hmm. And everybody has a song. And so I that, love it. My, everybody in the picture, too, is singing in a different way. Um, whether the eyes are closed, the hands are across the chest, hand up with the mouth open. I mean, there's just so much going on in this photo, and it's just so beautifully done. 
Thank you. So I'm gonna, let's roll on. I, I've seen some of these pictures and some of the presentations you've done. So I, I love the energy of this image, the youth. Where is this? What's going on in this photo? This, this photograph to me is, is, is precious. Well, no, no, let me rephrase that. No, photograph, see, photo, photographs, pictures of my friends. <laughs> You know, uh, you know, uh, but this is Cabrini Green, the housing project in Chicago, one of the largest, world's largest. This is six months. This this was when the children could play, they could run, they could they could they could be happy, they could they could run out of step outside and not be fear of being killed or. Uh, uh, and, and months earlier, there was uh, so much violence and death, and trouble, and and I was there. Caption it and showing the story. And Mayor Byrne, Mayor Jane Byrne at the time, moved into Cabrini Green. And the, mm -hmm. everything's changed and, and the violence. And, and so six months later, the, the, they could play again. Uh, so this is just one image from a, a whole body of work, but it sort of represents that. This happens because this happened, mm -hmm. and 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 so you think, okay, you know, there, there's a uh, there's a prayer of uh, God make me an instrument of our peace and me so love and take and there's you know take my hands and let it be, you know, uh, I I I add to that my camera, uh, my work, my being, so that I may serve others. Muhammad Ali, uh, my dear friend, I love this man. Uh, it was a great boxer. Everybody knew him as a boxer, you know, you know he was like it. But uh, he was a greater per soul person. And one of the things he, he would really put emphasis on is that service to others. This is, I'm quoting him exactly. He said, service to others is the rent you pay for your time here on earth. Mm -hmm. He even told me one time, about uh, uh, his first bike was $25, his first bike. And at that time, he's the most recognized man on the earth, in the world, you know, my champ. And he said, your first camera is 50 cents. He said, but never get so busy, you can't take time for others because service to others is the rent we pay for our time on earth. Mm -hmm. And I think, I think I, I, let me just tell you a little personal story. Um, my, my father, uh, I, I, everything, my father, my father, my father, my, I love my father. My father was a great man. Uh, but he, he preached a sermon one time that sort of disturbed me. Uh, it was called, uh, will, a, will, a, will a person rob God? I'm thinking, <laughs> who's going to ever think of robbing God? You know, we were taught uh, 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 never lie, never steal. You know, uh, if, you, if you, a person would lie, would, the steal, this person steal, but kill. So who would rob? And then he's, he talked about how we can rob. And he said three ways. Uh, our time, which we don't own. Our time, our talent, which we don't own. Our income, which we don't own. All the gifts to us. All, all, we, all the gifts and how we can use for ourselves and then for others. I don't make promises. I didn't even promise make a defile or anything. But I indicate that I will never rob you. Whatever I have time, talent, whatever, I would use and share for the benefit of humanity. And, um, and so I, 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 I like to think that uh, that's part of the, I don't know, part of the GPS that keeps me on track of trying, okay, you know, I'm, I'm not out there to try to make pretty pictures, beautiful pictures, you know, if, 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 if the bird wings are just perfect, I love that, you see what I mean? Uh, uh, but if it's going to help somebody, if it's going to, if it's going to be, uh, it's going to be that that flips the switch that uh, uh, connects to one of the nearly eight billion people on Earth. Then that's my job. Mm. Unbelievable. Well said. Another beautiful picture of dance here. Um, talk about this, John. This was a part of a uh, part of a. Uh, uh, the Pulitzer Prize. This is a, a, a dance academy in Chicago, and uh, uh, it's, it, 
you want to know the real the true story behind this speech? Sure. Okay. A lot of times you, you team up with reporters on, on a story and, you, and, and so a reporter and I have been at this dance academy for, a, we, we really worked hard, did a story. And, and so uh, the editors really were excited about it, but except uh, at that time, we wanted to use page one color for a Sunday special. And so, at, you know, it's not like now, you know, it's electronics and things. But in order to have a color page one, you had to have it in by uh, Friday. So that Friday morning, they said, okay, we need to go out and, and, and get some more pictures, but, but the color, but just for, for page one, just real simple. And you know, I, uh, so I went out there and uh, it was raining and I was, oh no, come on, I'm, I'm not gonna use a flash. I'm gonna, I need some light. And uh, you know, he said, get a, by, he said by the way, get one, one, two, one or two more black and white pictures. I said, I'm thinking, you have enough to do a book. I didn't say that to the editor, you know. But anyway, so I go out there, and the light was bad. The light was bad. The light was bad. And I was, I'm still not going to use flash. And I photograph, and I photograph, and then I went over to the window, the same window where this dance is. And I said, okay, God, give me this 15 minutes of nice light. Nothing happened. Okay, five minutes then. And then the lights <laughs> came out. And then I shot the color, shot the color. Then I said, oh. I took the film out, finished that, put one roll of black and white in, and just shot real quick. And this was one of the moments. Mm. So it ended up being a part of the pull of surprise. So uh, I'm, I'm thankful. But it helped Beautiful. so many people. Mm. Beautifully done. And again, it's just, I think that persistence in, in pushing and waiting and letting things unfold naturally, um, you know, just put you in a, in a great position to make this picture. I love it in black and white. I'm sure it's phenomenal in color too, but the, the light is beautiful. I love the shadow on the floor as she's dancing above it. Um, there's just so much to this picture. I love a little bit of attitude from the people on the side, on the right side. You know, there's so many different stories going on in this one picture, and I can't thank you enough for sharing that yeah, um, this, as, this, as we roll on. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Yeah, I just, no, I, th like, this is just like moments, just, just human moments, happy moments, mm -hmm. joyful moments. And I think to share the joy, I think to share joy for joy, is 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 mm -hmm. yeah we talked about that and that's why you had said you put this picture in the in the group of selections because the moment and life is about these incredible moments and the joy in the moment and it's just so beautifully done uh, this was in chicago as well streets yes. of chicago yes right, right in the neighborhood mm -hmm. and it's just one of those surreptitious moments that you're walking through when when you're shooting john how many are you carrying different cameras and lenses or it's just one camera one lens and what is your go-to focal length? Is it a 24 to 70? Is it a 70 to 200? What are you, what are you using typically when you're shooting? Well, I, I, I just love the, like the uh, 105 was my favorite, you know. And then the 35 was with the combination of 35, 105, and then a 300, you see to I me. Mean? Uh, mm -hmm. But then sometime I discipline myself to just go for something wide. The, the, uh, then, then with the zoom, with the uh, 20, 28, 20, and it's 28 to 70. Mm -hmm. um, but during the corona uh, time, uh, I've been practicing, because from my window, I can't, I can't get out, with a 300, with an extended as a 600. Mm -hmm. And it's like, it's amazing, because I've learned how to, you know, how to use that with the, the, the settings and things. And the things that I'm seeing, I'm like seeing, I'm seeing shadows and details. I mean, you know, it just, it's, it's, it's so, it's like an affair that I'm having every day with life, light, and love, and, 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 and capturing these moments, and, 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 and I'm, I'm excited about them. But I think, it, my, 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 my thing is that when the moment is there, you use what's in your hand there. You shoot with what you have. I have a brother, a great brother in, North, in South Carolina called me the other day, yesterday, and he was saying, uh, uh, he's going out, he got his camera, and he's going out to take some photographs. I said, well, take one from me. He said, what should I take? I said, it, it, it'll tell you that's it. But, you know, just simple. I mean, people should not, but I'm not tell what people should do, you know. But uh, uh, first light, I mean, you could just do it, sit in your home or whatever, your room or whatever. First light, how does light change? The light changes, the sun's moving. First light, and how does that affect something on your wall? Mm. I have an assignment I give students like, first pitch. Uh, you know, you're, you're there and something happens and then you, you, you shoot, you know, 
you know, and, 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 and you get in that real first pitch, that, that moment. I mean, you can always concentrate and get that, you know. But, either, okay, I, okay, okay. I get so excited about photography. Good. <laughs> um, okay, let's say the alphabets, okay? A, A, there's an A. Action. The world is not built on good intentions, but good action. Hmm. Nothing is started with good intention, good action. And we rob ourselves and rob humanity because of inaction. And so, like in journalists, as a journalist for 100 years, uh, there was never page one that says, excuse by John H. White. <laughs> you have to be a doer. There's a biblical thing talking about ants. Check out the ants, consider, oh, translate it. Check out the ant, consider its ways and be wise. I ain't never seen an ant in the snow in Chicago <laughs> because the ant is wise. And so we have to be likewise, you know, do, be a doer. It's like thunder and lightning. Thunder just <laughs> makes noise. Impressive. You know, makes you hurt yourself. Doesn't do anything. Lightning. And so people need to be doers. You know, you have this petition of your heart, the mind and desires. Then do it. Nature, I mean, okay. Sorry, just, no. I'm, I'm, listen, I'm taking it all in. I'm sure everybody else is taking it in. I, it's exactly the way I feel. You know, it's one thing to show up. It's another thing to be present. And it's another thing to participate. And um, uh, listen, I, I love everything that you're saying. I'm sure everybody else does too. You had mentioned previously uh, Muhammad Ali and your friendship with Muhammad Ali. I know you had a great uh, relationship with him. And um, I know uh, you came to speak for us uh, a couple of years ago in Melville, and you got to meet Burt Young, who was one of the, you know, the actors in you know, uh, Rocky and um, who knew Muhammad as well. Uh, but talk about your relationship with Muhammad Ali. This is a beautiful image. Where was it taken? What, what brought you to Muhammad? It, it, this this was taken in Chicago in Washington Park in Chicago, and I just love I love the man and and I, I would I would uh, watch him. So I, I one day I he was training and I said, uh, uh, I called him Champ because he always called me he called me called me main man. That's what I was title. And so I said, uh, so when are you gonna when are you gonna be working out again? He said Washington Park five o'clock and walked away. Washington Park five o'clock. Boom, that was it. So I go to Washington Park the next morning. I'm out there and there's the fog and the mist. And I said, well, you know, I mean, he said Washington Park. I am in Washington Park. It is five o'clock. I mean, I didn't even see a bird flying. And all at once, like, like almost like a silent movie, he's running out of the fog right by me. And I had waited for a moment because I was saying, did I see what I just thought I saw? Did I, you know, I did. And was it real? And he just ran it, you know. And I'm thinking, okay. So I had to really catch myself. Was this real? Uh, and then I said, well, I'm going to run the other way and then catch him and meet him, you know. And when I, when I, when I did, which like miles around, uh, and I saw a, a vehicle there waiting for him. And he got in the car and drove off. <laughs> I would have missed him. But little moments like that. But to spend time with him training in Deer Lake, Pennsylvania, and with people and with the mirror and things like that. Just a, a, a great, great, great soul, a great, great person. I loved him so much and, and he loved me. And, and to, to, to have that kind of fellowship with people, uh, uh, he, he was proud of me. He was telling people, we're at the airport and things like this. And, okay. and uh, he would, he can't just walk away from people, you know, they try to get all these autographs, but we had to make a plane. And I would say, I, I, would, I would go, no, he would say, and that means like get my attention, you see. So I would go, um, I would go to the champ, and I would say, "Champ, we gotta go, we gotta go." Planes. He said, "No, man, man, you, man, you crazy. These are my fans. These are my." And that was the only way he get out. Yeah. Uh, but I saw him serious. I saw him, you know, uh, he would he would work. Uh, he would do what's necessary to accomplish his dreams and goal, and he did for others. He was just a great, one of the greatest persons I've ever known and met in my life. Mm, such a beautiful capture. And, and 
it's such a great story. <laughs> you had to get up early. We talk about this all the time. Great photography happens before most people wake up and after most people go to sleep. And um, mm -hmm. a beautiful moment in, in the early morning and, and totally, uh, again, it's nice to know that that friendship, that relationship. I talk about this all the time with photographers, that relationships are what carry us in life. And, you know, to me, the, 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 the quality people you meet along the way, um, it's just, uh, it's just amazing. And I know you have a, a great, great story about uh, your relationship with Nelson Mandela and uh, where, where, where were you when you took this picture and what was going on? Well, I, I, Reverend Jesse Jackson, my dear friend, Reverend Jesse Jackson, asked me to go on a trip with him to South Africa and uh, he's going to try to free Mandela. And I'm thinking, okay, you know, Mandela's been in prison 37 years, you know, but we went, my mother gave her my blessings. And while we were there, Mandela was freed from prison. While we were in, in there. And this is Mandela's, uh, uh, a day later, back home in Soweto. First time back, in his, back home in Soweto. First time. And Reverend and, uh, uh, introduced me, Mandela, and, and they invited me in the house. And so they were all in, talking, and I went in the kitchen. And I asked these people, these, 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 these I said, uh, are you all relatives? And they said, we are comrades. So my comrade too. And Mandela went in his bedroom to get his jacket, the Greek go out so he could meet the public and things like this. And he just walked in out of the room and he just did this smile and just looked at me and, and I just like bang. And we became very, very close. One of the few times I cried in my life was when he, when he, when he died. Mm. Uh, and and, and uh, he, he uh, you know, he would sign photographs of people, autograph for it. And he did, he, you know, he signed several for me and things of this nature. But there's one portrait I really love of, and he signed it for me. Uh, uh, but he signed it on the forehead, and it says to John White, a fun photographer, uh, wonderful and fun photographer, Mandela, blah blah blah. And I was touched by that because I had not seen any of the other things he signed. And someone said that uh, later that he did that to honor you. He was thinking about history. He did that to honor you. Mm -hmm. And so I, I, I treasure, I treasure the gift of friendship. I treasure that. Um, and people, people uh, love people. And they, you know, they, they know if you are real or what. Uh, and if you respect them, they respect you. Mm -hmm. And if you're there to share their story for uh, purposes of, of purity and goodness, they know that. If you, you know. And so I, I, I respect and, and I'm, I'm blessed. I, 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 like, I like to think that even in nature, even, even sunrises and sunsets, and to make, that uh, God uh, exposed me so much knowing that I will capture it and share it. And so that the world uh, can see the splendor of, uh, of these moments. And, and, and they, they, I love the emotion and the connection and, and again, the friendship and relationships. And do you look back on all this and you think about these people you've met along the way, archbishops and, and the Reverend Jesse Jackson and Mandela and Ali and, you know, um, the body of work that you created, it, this is with legendary people. I mean, does, how do you feel about that? Um, years ago, my mother spent over a year putting uh, my slides in the sleeves. I was there doing a speech one time, and she said, what can I do to help you? What can I do to help you? And so I, I, I said, Mother, just take these two boxes of slides and put them in these sleeves, but you haven't put them this way. They have to be this way, you know. And, they, and so she was doing that. And I said, this is the person I've been looking for. So for a year, I was sending her like thousands, you know, and she did all that. She just really perfect, you know, really. A year or so after she, about a year after she, when she finished that, she called me one time and she said to me, She said, Johnny, I feel I've been all over the world because I've been through your pictures. And 
And so during this time out in life and having a chance to uh, take a glimpse of my journey, I said, now I know what mother meant. So I hope that someday, some way, I can uh, archive and package and put together so that the world can see what I see and feel what I feel. Mm -hmm. I, uh, I speak for everybody. You brought us into the home of Nelson Mandela with a picture like this and told an amazing story. And it's the kind of picture you want to be you, this is how you want to remember Mandela with that smile. Um, and uh, it's just, it's just so beautifully done. I, I love this image of Barack. Um, I, it brings out a smile, obviously voting uh, on election day. Talk about this picture and your relationship with uh, Barack Obama. Well, I, I love him. And I love uh, first lady. Uh, and uh, I just, it, it's just a pure, good, simple human being, and uh, and and to to uh, you know, I photograph the inauguration. I photograph uh, uh, the campaign. I photograph uh, enough to do a book on someday. Maybe somebody has discovered. Hey, John White, you, you know, maybe we can you you can. Uh, but anyway, uh, but there are moments like this, and this is one moment. This is just a, one of those moments. This is like. You know, there's, there, you know, there, 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 there. It's just a moment that I like. Mm -hmm. Did yeah. you follow him on campaigns at all, or just uh, how did you guys connect? Was it through a story? Well, well, we connect through. Uh, I would be attending events that he's speaking or, or, or news situations, mm -hmm. and also uh, we were in the same gym, the same trainer. Uh, uh, yeah, so, and then a lot, but a lot of times there were, uh, it, as a journalist working, there, there, there was some things, uh, like one of the things during the campaign, a lot, I was able to do a lot of things for, on my own, but as a journalist, that there were, I had to be very careful because I can't not uh, cover certain things and I wouldn't be assigned to certain things, so. So, but I, I was, I was, I was there doing what I can, and and I think he appreciated that, and he, you know, recognized that, and and so I, I, I love the magic of the man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that smile is infectious for sure, and uh, and a, a beautiful, beautiful photo. Um, we talked a little bit about uh, kind of what you're doing now, um, and you had sent this over to me. Talk a little bit about this picture and the series of images behind you. What that means to you. Well, one of my friends said, my, my office, my place is a photo forest. I said, yep, sure is. And I planted all the trees. Um, pictures are, like I said, pictures are my friends. Pictures are, 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 are connect me, connect me. Pictures are those things that are, uh, are symbols. Um, uh, there, there's so much. Uh, I look at certain walls and I can see people. I photograph I certain walls. I see nature. I photograph. I see the moon and the sun and, and creation, things of that nature. So it keeps me, it keeps me in online uh, with, with Chicago, with people, with family. Uh, uh, it's, it's part of my uh, DNA, part of my, uh, I don't know how to describe it, uh, but it's just part of me. And uh, it's something I always, I remember, I remember being in Gordon, Gordon Park's home in New York. Monita Sleek uh, where I, where, and I were having tea. Monita Sleek was the first uh, black photographer to win a Pulitzer. He won a Mrs. Pulitzer of Mrs. King at Dr. King's funeral. And I was going by to see uh, 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 Gordon Parks. And he said, have you been in this place before? I said, no. He said, well, you're going to be really shocked. And I'm thinking, yeah, well. I've been around the world. I've been to the presidents and things. So anyway, when I when I, I go and call, he said, "I'm home now." So I said, "Okay, I'm on my way over." I get there, and uh, Gordon lived in, in the UN Plaza. So there's only there, on the floor. There's a, there's two apartments. So the doorman said, "Oh yes, Mr. Park's waiting for you. Go to whatever you know." So I get there, 
And I get off the elevator and I look and I'm thinking, oh my God, I'm in this gallery. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> All these images that I've seen on these images. And I was like, where's Gordon? And uh, Gordon says, come on in, John. And I'm like, waiting. So I'm, I walk in and Gordon walk. He, he walks out of, the, out, out of the wall, out of the photographs that stay in my hand. That's how creative he was, just a genius. Uh, uh, but, but, so our pictures were the same to him. They, they were part of, uh, so, but, but they, they represent so much to me. Images represent so much to me. Pictures represent so much to me. And this picture means so much to you, I know. It means a lot to me. And um, it, it's just so beautiful. I could stare at this for a long time and just uh, feel at peace. Um, talk about this image and the depth of it, the spirituality behind it, what it means to you. Well, some things are, are gifts to us. And I think this is God, one of God's gifts to me. And, and it's, it's to my gift to others. Uh, it, it, to me, it, it's a symbol of so much, but it, 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 it's, it's, it, it's, uh, it represents uh, my three F words, uh, faith, focus, and flight. Mm -hmm. And so when I share this and give this as a gift to people, I, I want to remind them to be faithful to, to life, to their being. You know, they're, they're, there's only one of them. One, one, there's only one of them to be faithful. Uh, and then focus. I, I think precision focus, you know, precision focus, precision focus. Uh, and then flight doing it. So faith, focus, and flight. And this is what this represents, uh, to keep in flight. And that's, that's, that's my wish for everybody, that you know, to keep in flight. You know, uh, dreams come true when we keep them alive. You know, uh, you put wings and feet into dreams, but we have to dream. But this, but we need symbols and, and photographs, this symbol that, that Everyone who has this photograph of them think that's them in flight. That represents them in flight. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's my wish. That's my wish for, for everybody to keep in flight. Uh, on the wings of love. You know, love for life, love for creation, love for the creator, love for uh, animals, love for people, love for others, and love for those who, especially seniors, you know, seniors, you know, uh, uh, seniors deserve deserve all the riches and riches and, and, and comfort, and, you know, and 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 that's that's something that really concerns me. But my, I hope my life and my goal and my my, my foundations my, that I'll be creating and things of this nature can be that that will always help others. That's my goal, um, and I, I think I think love is the love is the uh, is the uh, the root of everything? Mm -hmm. The root of everything. So I, I hope that uh, through my earthly journey, my flight in life, that uh, uh, there will be a little uh, more love. One of the things I enjoy about this journey is that. Uh, uh, I have a friendship with the world. And that's what photography has given me, a friendship with the world. And friendship is a good nutrition for the soul, for the spirit. Mm -hmm. I mean, like Mike, I treasure you, I treasure your friendship. Um, I look at back and, and, you know, what you mentioned, you know, some of the people I photograph, you know, that are, that are going on. And I'm so, I thank God, like, wow. In this earth, in this time, I, I journey with them. I have, this sounds crazy, but I have this thing. Okay. If it happened in my time, I have it. If I don't have it, it didn't happen. And so that's why I want to like, I pray that I can just get my, 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 my treasure archives together because you, you, you were saying, you saw uh, just a glimpse uh, of you know, 
of work. Mm -hmm. uh, the puzzle, for instance, you know, a, a portfolio, but that was like in one year of work, and that was just like a tenth of what was done that year. Right. And so I have this, I like to think, think that I've shown the story, I've captured the story of humanity, the human spirit, and it's a beautiful spirit, and that my um, work will reflect uh, love. Uh, amazing. I'm going to stop sharing so I can bring you back uh, to full screen. It's good to see you again. We were off to the side of the pictures. Um, I'm speechless, John. I really am. Um, but you and I have known each other for many years. We've had so many great conversations, and I'm glad that we could share these conversations about pictures and some stories I didn't even know about the pictures you made. Um, uh, with everybody joining us here on the Creator's Hour, I think uh, I speak for so many people where <laughs> I, I would volunteer to help you get those archives together. I'd, I'd live in Chicago if I needed to uh, spend some time there with you. I, I reflect back on those times that we uh, first assignment we ever worked on together with that little cool pics running around Chicago. So as newspapers were transitioning into digital, um, you know, they were looking at the smaller compacts and we had that cool pics 990, I think it was. And, and we, we, we got to run around Chicago for several days. That was my job. And you can't even use the word job in that description because it was just such a pleasure for me. And um, I know everyone at Nikon uh, would, would share this sentiment in thanking you for giving us your time uh, to talk about some of these amazing pictures. And uh, uh, anybody can just Google your name and just select images and, and see the, a greater body of work um, uh, than what you've represented today. But thank you so much for your words, your wisdom, your spirituality, and your friendship. Thank you, my friend. And keep in flight. Yeah, it's, I will tell you this. We were asked to all submit a quote uh, at Nikon to keep everybody positive, started by our uh, executives and Jay Van Adder. Um, and um, uh, so my, my quote to everybody was keep in flight. And, you know, I will, I will carry that with me and uh, certainly carry a message uh, that you had sent me once about a picture uh, of a bird that I sent you that uh, at the moment was something you needed to be refueled. So that is something I will always remember. And, and I'll take with me too that genuine nature of who you are. And I'll share this with everybody that I've seen it happen not once, but every single time I have introduced you to somebody, you don't just shake hands. You hold their hand, you ask them about who they are, you go into the depths of who they are right away. So going back to what you said before and studying people and genuinely being interested in who they are and their individuality, um, that's a lesson I will take with me for life. So again, thank you for your time, John. Um, love to everybody uh, and, and please be safe in Chicago. Thank you, my friend. Love you, my friend. Keep in flight. And those of you that are turning in, um, I will beg you to keep in flight as well. Thank you for spending time with us during the Creator's Hour and this very special uh, interview with uh, John H. White. We have so much content that we've delivered over the last uh, uh, couple of months, and uh, we will through this month of June. And uh, we appreciate you guys. Be inspired. Go out and take great pictures. We're all starting to open back up for the most part, but when you get back out on the streets, take a lot of this inspiration with you, a lot of this love, and capture the images that you love to make and share them with us. So for Nikon, I am Mike Corrado. Um, please, everybody, be safe, and we'll see you soon.